Let's set up a Google Ads server-side conversion tracking using Google Tag Manager, your client site and server-side container. Let's dive in. First, we need to prepare the Google the Google Tag Manager client side container. So first of all, we have at the start of this project a lot of client side tags of Google Ads. So we will need to pause some of them because we are going to move them to the client side container. So I'm going to pause book appointment, the conversion linker, the user provided data. I'm going to pause this and I will leave the Google Ads tag, this is required for the fun the well function the is 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 basically the base pixel of Google Ads. It improves a lot the, the tracking in Google Ads. Nevertheless, a lot of Google Ads improvement and data and tag accuracy will be deployed in the server side container. That's also true. All right. Also, we pause the Google Ads conversion tracking because we are going to fire it in the server side. Okay. Furthermore, the year for Google tag will be here because this is the transportator of the page view to the client, to the server side container right here into data.analyticsng.co. All right. As a next step, let's prepare the server side container. So let's go here to the server side. We don't have any conversion right now because we just like set this container. So let's create a new tag and in tag configuration, we go to Google Ads and let's set up conversion linker. Let's name it properly. Conversion linker. All right, we are going to fire this in all pages. Next, let's select another container to create a Google Ads for marketing. Here we are going to add the conversion ID of the of the account. So I will go here to the client side container, go to variables, and then pick the conversion ID. I will pick then also the variable name. And I will create a new variable here so we can add it at we can access to it via other tags. So I'm going to paste the values. The type of variable is constant. Constant is a bar a placeholder where we can add some information that does not change. All right. We are going to trigger all these in all pages, and this is the remarketing Google Ads remarketing tag. Cool. Also, we have a, a user provided data here on this container. I'm going to copy the name of the tag that we just posted and add it here. Here in Google Ads, I will select user provided data and we are going to use the same conversion ID. Just create and I will fire this in the event that generates the conversion. I, in this case, is book appointment. All right, so I'm going to use this event as the trigger, but as we are using um, Google GA4 as the transportator of the events, we are going to use the naming convention of Google that says that all the events should be lowercase and uh, followed by underscore. So let's do that. Book appointment. Appointment. I hope there is no any typo there. Um, all right, so we have our user provided data. So this event will send user provided data, the email, the name, the last name, address, whatever you are sending and capturing from the client side container. All right. Next, uh, what else? Like, well, we need to add the book appointment event. 
So this this is the next step we should we, we have to do. We need to create an event from the client side container so we can transport the lead the book appointment event to the server side. So let's do that. I'm going to select this tag and I'm going to copy it and I will create a year four tag year four event book appointment all right I'm going to create over this template the the uh, event we need to transport so the measurement ID for this account is already in the container is GA4 config and the event name will be book appointment as we map appointment as we map in the server side here we need to pass no parameter for the moment and yeah we need to unpause this. this is the copy so it won't the password the, the previous one won't fire so you may be you are asking yourself why I'm using a year for tag if we are if this video is about Google Ads why John why are you doing this the reason is that the event to Google Ads will not be the dispatch from the client side this ser this event will will be will go to the server side to the server and from there we are going to send the event to Google Ads you will see in a few minutes if you stick with me I'm going to show you how it look like so let's look everything step by step and soon we will be there all right so year for event book appointment um, we need to test this of course and also we need to send user provided data and uh, let's check this mark include user provided data and I will select the user provided data variable I have here if you if you don't have any idea of why uh, probably you are of these variables you can see a, a one of the videos where I explain this all this setup bit Calendly his conversion and Google Ads so I will add it here in my in the in the not in the comments in the description all right so let's continue so we have UPD here and um here we are going to pass in the email of the user of the lead to google ads so it's an in case conversion via server side all right so i think we have everything we need we have here in the server container the tags well actually there is something missing the most important of course how can i forget the google ads uh, book appointment uh, sorry about that it's my friend it's my friend Toby here all right so let's go to Google Ads Google Ads conversion tracking all right so let's map this tag the conversion ID we are going to use the variable we just created before here on, in the server and for the conversion label, we can reuse it from the conversion we post. Google Ads book, Google Ads book appointment. Here is the conversion label, but also we need to double check. And I uh, promote that you should do that. Always double check the conversion labels and conversion IDs of your uh, conversions. So if I find the value, you see this is the conversion label. This is the correct conversion we need to map so let's go to tag manager server side and let's add the conversion label you can pass conversion value conversion currency code for purchases we are going to have an, a video on it it's very soon and all right so here on the trigger we are going to select book appointment to fire and this event book appointment will be has the region has the region on the year for tag here we just created book appointment very nice let's test this let's go to the client side container and let's roll the preview mode and we are going to use here the the page of the for submission that you want to test so in this case you are using Calendly and I am um, 
injecting dynamically the container of my client side container. So we can have Calendly there working. And here I just roll the server side container. And it's like a tag assistant like this, but it's for the server. So if we go to the page that have the server side container, we will see in a few seconds that we will should see events here. So these are this is the the tag assistant of the server. Here are the events that reach. As you can see here, there is no GA4, but we just have Google Ads event. So we have the conversion linker and the remarketing tag that are that far in the page view. All right. And now let's complete the conversion. I'm going to book a time here. Uh, and I'm going to name is this test test email.com test. So let us schedule this event. And I have other video where I show you I show you all this setup. So if you are a li little bit lost, you can find that uh, in my channel. All right. So we have the thank you page. Let's explore the server side container. So we have the book appointment. And we have the Google Ads user provided data event. This data is sending values about the email that was hashed from the client side container. And here we have the conversion successfully and sharing the conversion ID and conversion label of the conversion. And let's check what we have in Tag Assistant. Here in Tag Assistant, we have the year for event, book appointment, that is the transportator. We have the Google tag and yeah, we have everything here. As a next step, let's publish the changes. And we are going to name this Google Ads, Google Ads a server side migration. Because we migrate a lot of events and tags there. And let's publish. I hope this video was useful for, for your project. If you have any suggestion or question, please leave it in the comment and please subscribe and like if this video has been useful for you. Have a great day, my friend. Goodbye.